Hey everybody and welcome to today's vlog. My name is Mandy Meehan and I am a functional nutritional therapy practitioner. So essentially I am a really big nerd and a lot of you have been wanting me to talk more about food and nutrition and do a what I eat in a day video. So here we are. Just an important disclaimer really quick. In this what I eat in a day, full day of eating, whatever you want to call it, remember that just because I eat something and it works for me doesn't mean that you should eat something and that it will work for you. I am a huge believer in bioindividuality and they're just not being a one size fits all diet or approach. Everyone is different. We have different sensitivities. We have different gut microbiomes. Some of you, you may have dysbiosis and you need to do things differently. Others of you, you may have candida and need to do things differently. Some of you, you are really a lot more healthy than I am and you're able to tolerate a lot more more foods it all is going to depend so please don't take what I'm eating and thinking I'm saying this is what you have to do this is just what I ate on this particular day and every single day is different another thing I want to note is that I hope you don't ever compare your portion sizes to mine I know a lot of people they're wondering how much food am I actually supposed to eat and again this is an individualized Thing. I want to make sure that I never show you the exact amounts that I eat because I don't want you to compare. There are times in this video you'll see a portion of whatever food is on my plate and just because that's the portion that you see that doesn't mean that I finished all of it. I typically do. And it doesn't mean that I went and I got seconds. I often do that. Makes sense? <laughs> This video is merely for inspiration and education. That is all. So with that said, let us jump right into the video. Good morning. First thing I'm going to do is make myself a tall glass of water. Recently we got a Berkey to filter our water. I love it. To my water I'm going to add some of the Seeking Health electrolyte powder because I'm extra and I need more electrolytes, I'm going to be adding some of my homemade magnesium bicarbonate. I am in love with this stuff and I will probably tell you more about it later. So more magnesium there. And I also want a little bit more sodium and minerals. So this actually isn't Himalayan pink salt. This is Redmond's real salt. I just refilled it. Just some extra salt. <laughs> I'm not into the metal straws. I'm into the silicone straws because they're bendy. I've probably had these straws for close to three years and I love them. While I'm sipping on that, I'm going to make my breakfast and I'm gonna have something really, really easy today, so. I'm going to heat up this leftover bone broth. I'm going to eat a square or two of these autoimmune paleo breakfast bars. They have great ingredients. It's honestly a lot of coconut flour, coconut oil, pumpkin puree, and cinnamon, some chocolate chips. I don't remember everything in them, but gelatin, collagen, forgot those. Really great gut healing ingredients. I'm gonna top it with some of this organic grass-fed butter. And then on the side alongside my bone broth, I'm gonna have a few squares of this beef and beef liver. It's kind of like little jerky squares and it's a really, really great way to get liver in. For those of you who don't know, high quality liver, it's, it's like the most nutrient dense food on the planet actually. Very, very good. And while I'm eating my breakfast, I will finish up my Bible plan. So today I just have two chapters in Genesis left in my Bible and one year plan. This year I'm just doing this one totally on my own. And then I'm also doing this 21 day devotional with, as you can see, a whole lot of people. And I love every single day seeing all the comments. Howdy. It is a couple hours later. I've been working on my computer, responding to emails, working on beauty counter stuff, and I'm a bit hungry and I am ready to make some lunch. And I'm excited because I'm gonna make exactly what I made last night, which was delicious. Let me show you what I've got. 
I have leftover grass-fed ground beef and roasted sweet potato. I roasted them from frozen in the air fryer and they got nice and crispy and very nice if I do say so myself. So I made that yesterday for lunch, but today I'm going to add some diced red onion, some orange bell pepper, and I'm gonna use garlic and basil to give it like an Italian-y flair, plus some local mozzarella cheese like grated on top from a local farm, really great stuff. Let's do it. My friends, this was super easy, especially because I had the ground beef and the sweet potatoes prepped. People often ask me for recipes and truly it's like, I browned the meat. I threw the sweet potatoes in the air fryer. And then I chopped off some veggies and I added it all together, added some garlic, added some spice and basil, and there you go. I'm going to finish off my lunch with a bit of Honey Mama's. This is my favorite chocolate ever. Kind of the best thing I've had in my whole life. So as you can see, it just has the best ingredients, raw local honey, organic coconut, coconut oil, cocoa. You can see, you can read it. It's, it's very, very, very good. I got mine at Natural Grocers. I believe they have them at a lot of health food stores and you can find them in the refrigerated section because if they're not refrigerated, they will not. And in case you're wondering, here's what it looks like on the inside. Hey, so I've been spending the afternoon writing up a new email and essentially I'm about to take a lot more new nutritional therapy clients, which I'm really, really excited for that. It's been tough to have to go so slow since I'm, you know, in this intense part of my healing lately. I've had some bad Herx reactions from really working to address my chronic Epstein-Barr virus. Since I'm doing a lot better in my protocol right now, I'm pumped to take more people. So my email list is the first place that I announce that I'm taking new nutritional therapy clients. So I will leave the link to my email list below. But right now I am snacky, so I will show you what I'm getting. Very, very simple. I'm just having a couple slices of turkey breast and this is a pink lady apple and i may add some mustard and pepper to this and kind of roll it up but that is what sounds good i could put this all cute on a plate but that's not real life this is what i would normally do i didn't cut up the whole apple i'm just starting with this i put in some mustard and pepper on my little turkey slices and then I had this little tiny bit of raw cheddar cheese left, so I just added that to have with it. Does anyone else really like apples and cheese together? I don't know why, I think it's really, really good. And side note, I really, I need more time to talk about my changing thoughts on dairy, and it's something I'd like to talk about more. Right now, I'm a big fan of, you know, when you can tolerate it, not everyone can tolerate it, but raw grass-fed cheese, because super nutrient dense, really high in K2, which is really hard to get from other foods and you can't get it from plants, actually you have to get it from animal foods. So that's that. My husband's on his way home. After working pretty hard for a while, I have been chilling by the fire and watching Disney Plus. Right now, I am kind of prepping for dinner. I'm soaking some organic white basmati rice in water. Soaking grains helps with a lot of things. It helps reduce anti-nutrients and it actually really just helps it cook better too. Yeah, it'll soak for about like 20 to 30 minutes and then my husband will get home and then I'll start making food. Here I'm gonna do a little bit of a voiceover because I had a couple of these Simple Mills cookies. They are gluten-free, grain-free, refined sugar-free, and just straight yum. 
They are pretty low in sugar. There's six grams of sugar from coconut sugar for three of these cookies. I think I had two of them. I may have had three. I don't really know. I don't remember. It was a great way to finish out my full day of eating. Well, that is it. That is what I ate in a day. I hope you enjoyed it and got something out of it. For those of you who have been following me for a while, you can probably tell I am continuing to focus on high quality foods and nutrient density, of course, but I'm also not sweating the small stuff. There was a time I would have been stricter with certain treats, but for me in this season, a couple cookies after dinner and a you know, little chocolate after lunch or whatever, it's working great for me right now. So I do have a lot of updates on what's been going on in my personal wellness journey as well as just my business and my life and there are a lot of exciting things so i would love to update you more soon i have been talking a lot on instagram if you want to follow me there that's where i've been most active lately youtube just is not able to be my priority right now i'm just going to be uploading as i can and as i have free time but as i continue to make progress in my health i'm excited to be more active on here in the future so this is the end of the video. I will see you in the next one. Bye.